Overcoming PMS Part 3, Overcoming Pride, Manipulation, and Selfishness. In 2 Kings chapter 12, we see the story of King David, the man after God's own heart, doing a deed that is just terrible. When David should be out leading his troops in battle, he's at home and he beholds another man's wife, so much so that he summons her because he has to have her. And when David finds out that this man's wife becomes pregnant by him, he just creates this elaborate plan of getting this man, this righteous man, killed so he could take that Sheba as his own wife. But the prophet Nathan confronted him. It's good to be confronted. Nathan told him a story of a rich man and a poor man. The rich man had flocks and sheep and herds and all of that. The poor man only had one ewe lamb that was like a child to him. And so the story goes, Nathan says, David, there came a time when a rich man had a guest and he wanted to feed the man. So he didn't take up his own lamb of his own flocks. He took that one ewe lamb that the poor man had. David was angry. He said, this guy should be killed and everything should be restored back to the poor man. And Nathan says, David, you are the man. When David realized that Nathan was talking about him, he repented and came before God. Matter of fact, that's what Psalm 51 is all about. David pouring out his heart to God, saying basically, Lord God, I have messed up. But Lord, I know you are a creative God. So create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. And Lord, whatever you do, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. David repented. And we just thank God for an opportunity to repent. Not to be selfish like David was. David had everything, but he had to have someone else's wife. Overcoming PMS, pride, manipulation, and selfishness. My name is Roosevelt Williams, and I'm the pastor of Hopewell African Methodist Episcopal Church. We're located at 925 44th Street North, Birmingham, Alabama. Come on out and see us. We have two services, one at 8 and one at 11. Come out and be blessed in the name of Jesus.